This is Conspiracies Unpacked, I'm Danny Clayton, and we are looking at the death of Princess Diana and the conspiracies surrounding her death. One being that she is in fact still alive, somewhere in the world hiding from public life. Let's break it down. Now, in 1997, Princess Diana died in a car crash in Paris alongside her lover, Dodi Fayed, his security guard, and their driver, Henri Paul, who had a blood alcohol level three times over the legal limit. The conspiracies surrounding that death is that they were chased by paparazzi, that there was a white Fiat that ran them off the road, that the royal family was upset that she was secretly pregnant and they had her assassinated, and of course, that she faked her own death to escape public life and she's living somewhere around the world sipping cocktails on a beach somewhere. Please, is this true, Dr. Richard Hames? Is she somewhere free of the royal family? The likelihood, I'm afraid, Danny, is zero. Yes, we'd all like it to be true, but the post-mortem uh, that was undertaken and the people who uh, are trustworthy and saw her dead I don't think there's any argument at all. The real conspiracy theories are not around her being alive or dead, but who did it? Okay, now if we are going to humour this idea for a second, how difficult would it be to fake uh, your death if you were Diana? And how difficult would it be to escape uh, a pace like Paris and live a life outside of the royal family? I think nowadays, you know, it would be quite easy, especially with that amount of considerable wealth, to to fake your own death or just disappear. But because uh, she was so well known, to disappear entirely without being spotted would be impossible. Okay. And the internet exploded with different websites purporting that they've seen her, they've spotted her, they've had theories about different people who were involved in her, her, her murder. Uh, what has all your data collecting managed to discover from, from that kind yeah, of side of things? Good point. There are over 36,000 different websites purely on conspiracies around Diana's death. And there have been numerous sightings, particularly in, in places like uh, South America, Uruguay, Australia, and everywhere in between. Uh, so, yes, with wealth, you can disappear, but when you're that famous, probably not that easy. Mm. Now, author Alan Power said that Diana had made very incredibly powerful enemies, enemies that would have the motivation to have her assassinated. Uh, thinking about that and the mysterious case of the white Fiat apparently knocking her off the road, a mysterious motorcycle that followed the car, uh, could there be any truth in the assassination of Diana? Well, Diana herself believed that that was a possibility. And she was particularly concerned when Barry Manicky, her bodyguard, uh, died uh, from a motorcycle accident. And she believed that somebody or some people had bumped him off. Uh, she described him as the greatest love of her life. Uh, and so she was, she was quite convinced that there were people in the background who wanted rid of her. Mm. I mean, her butler uh, even said that uh, Diana would say that she was going to die in a car crash. So, I mean, that was quite suspicious uh, as well. But, I mean, when you think about this mistrust towards the, the royal family, uh, would the royal family have enough motivation to take out Princess Diana? <laughs> they probably would have had enough motivation, but that doesn't mean to say that they would do such a thing. Mm. I think the, the court surrounding the royal family in, in any monarchy is so protectionist that they go to any lengths at all to protect the, the current sovereign. And so it's a distinct possibility that there were uh, thoughts uh, circulating uh, that they should somehow try to remove Diana from the uh, royal family. So who are the court? Can you give us a little bit more info on who they are? Uh, the court, what I mean by the court, is all those people around the royal family who serve the royal family, ranging from the police force right through to personal uh, assistants, for example, who have in their best interest the 
the best interests of the royal family. And they are very, very influential indeed. And they were very influential in how Diana was treated or mistreated. But you see that in the, the history of the royal family. For example, the Duke of Windsor, uh, after the abdication and how he was treated and his wife were treated in exile. But you can go back centuries to the way uh, mad George III was treated. I mean, he was seriously ill. Uh, but the royal court interfered in that. Going back centuries, the the court is really where the power is held. Okay, so um, I definitely don't want to end up on the royal hit list. So uh, I'm going to take us back to the original question. Richard Hames, is it plausible that Diana, Princess of Wales, somehow faked her death and is alive somewhere in the world right now? I would love to believe that, but unfortunately, no. Okay, so is Diana alive? <sighs> the plausibility of this conspiracy theory suggests no, she is not. This is Conspiracies Unpacked. <laughs>